In this video, we're going to learn the basics of CVP, or Cost Volume Profit Analysis, using Excel. If you would like to follow along, open the workbook CVP Analysis from your student folder. Now, before we begin, let's explain the math of what we're going to be doing in Excel. So to explain what we're going to be doing, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to write the profit equation. So our profit equation is revenue minus cost equals profit. Now, in CVP analysis, we assume that our costs can be broken up into either variable or fixed. So I'm going to rewrite that profit equation as revenue Subtract out our variable cost Subtract out our fixed cost And that is going to equal our profit So I'm going to erase the words on the left. And now let's talk about how each of those are calculated. So our revenue is going to be calculated as our quantity multiplied by our price, Our variable cost is going to be calculated as our quantity multiplied by our unit variable and our fixed cost is going to be given in the problem. Now when we do a break-even analysis our profit is zero or if we do a target analysis, our profit is going to be given. So in any case in the problem, the profit will be given either as zero or a different number. So notice in our break-even analysis, we are given our selling price, we are given our unit variable cost, we are given our fixed cost. So, if we're talking about a break-even analysis, I know here we're given our quantity, but let's not look at that for the moment. In our break-even analysis, if we know our price, if we know our unit variable cost, if we know our fixed cost, and we know our profit, then the only variable is going to be the quantity. So, all we'll have to do is figure out our quantity to do a break-even analysis. So with the given numbers, let's calculate our operating income and then let's use formulas to calculate our break-even point in unit and in sales dollars and also calculate our units for a target profit. So let me erase my writing and let's begin. Now if you have opened your CVP analysis workbook, make sure you're on the contribution margin, contrib margin tab. Now we're going to use Excel to calculate our contribution margin. First, I'm going to click in cell B11 to calculate the sales revenue. So I'm going to type an equal sign. I'm going to click on the quantity of 3,500, cell B4. And I'm going to multiply that by the selling price, cell B5. Once I input that formula, I'm going to hit Enter to accept it. And notice how Excel has calculated the sales revenue. Now, to calculate the variable cost, make sure that you're in cell B12. You selected cell B12. 
type in equal sign and tell Excel to take the quantity of 3,500, cell B4, and multiply it by the unit variable cost, cell B6. Hit Enter to accept the formula, and notice how Excel has calculated it for you automatically. For the fixed cost, since that's just given, we're going to type an equal sign, and we're going to click on cell B7, the fixed cost. That tells Excel that whatever is in B7, we want the same number to appear in our contribution margin income statement. So if we change the number in cell B7, cell B13 will be updated automatically. So we hit enter to accept that formula. And now to calculate the operating income, I type in equal sign. I tell Excel to take the sales revenue, cell B11, subtract, type a minus sign, subtract the variable cost, click on cell B12, type a minus sign, subtract the fixed cost by clicking on cell B13. Once you have accomplished that, just hit enter to accept the formula. What we have now is we have an automatic operating income calculator. So now our contribution margin income statement will calculate the operating income no matter what quantity, no matter what selling price, no matter what unit variable cost, no matter what fixed cost, Excel will calculate it automatically. So just to see how that happens, let's change the 3500, click on cell B4, and type the number 4000. Notice how the sales revenue and the variable cost will change automatically when I hit enter. Now I'm going to click back on cell B4 and go back to 3500. Same thing. Let's say, for example, we wanted to change the selling price to 130. So I click on cell B5, type 130, hit enter. Notice how my sales revenue and operating income changed. But now I'm going to go back to 124. So click on cell B5 and type 124 again. Now we're going to do our break-even analysis. So if you remember, the formula to calculate the break-even point in units, what we want to do is in the numerator, we want to take the fixed cost, and in the denominator, we want to divide it by the unit contribution margin, which is the selling price minus the unit variable. So in cell B16, I'm going to input that formula but I'm going to use cell references as opposed to the numbers so that when I change any number in the range of B4 to B8, my calculations will be correct. I won't have to re-input the formulas. So click in cell B16, type an equal sign, click on the $85,000 fixed cost, cell B7, type a forward slash, open parentheses, price minus unit variable. So click on cell B5, type a minus sign, click on cell B6, price minus the unit variable cost, close up your parentheses. Once you've entered the formula, just hit enter. And we now have the number of units that we need to break even. To calculate the sales revenue to break even, type an equal sign, so click in cell B17, type an equal sign, 
click on the number of units to break even, type an asterisk for multiplication, and click on the selling price, cell B5. We have now calculated the sales dollars that are needed in order to break even, 310,000. And then finally, we're going to calculate the number of units that we need for a target profit. So I'm going to click on cell B18. Now for a target profit, if we're going to do, instead of break even, if we're going to do a target profit in units, in the numerator, we take the fixed cost and we add the target profit. It's really the same formula because with break even, your target profit is zero. So what happens when you add zero to the fixed cost? You wind up getting the fixed cost. So it really is that same formula. So click on cell B18, type an equal sign, and open the parentheses this time. So first we're going to click on the fixed cost, cell B7. We're going to add the target profit, so type a plus, and click on cell B8, the target profit. Close up the parentheses. Type a forward slash for division. Open the parentheses. And now we're going to calculate the price minus the unit variable. So I'm going to click on cell B5. I'm going to type a minus sign. Click on cell B6, the unit variable. Close up my parentheses. Once the formula is complete, hit enter to accept. And the number of units that we need to hit our target profit is 3,000. In a future video, we'll show you how to use the roundup function to make sure that your number of units to break even do not have any decimals.